Hey guys, welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel, and this is our situation number 41 from CE Board Exam November 2021 for Structural Engineering and Construction. So we have a given P and R where P is equivalent to 40 kN and R which is the radius okay, in the arc okay, which is equivalent to 3.2 meters and the angle theta is equivalent to 30 degrees. Sige, so ilagay natin to. So this is equivalent to 30 degrees. So since 30 degrees to, ito ay arc. Okay, arc of a circle. Then line AB is along the horizontal axis. Ito medyo narito lang ako bakit uh, ang AB is uh, along the horizontal axis. But anyway, kung i-drawing kasi natin, if this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis, then, ito yung line AB. Ayan. Okay, tapos, pag ganito siya. Ayan. So, this is R, and this is also equivalent to R. So, dito yung ano, um, ano yan, nakatingin tayo sa taas. Okay, nakatop view tayo. Ayan, nakatop view. Ganyan siya. do medyo nalilito lang ako. Okay, pero anyway, pwede rin naman yan. Pero parang mas gusto ko na yung CB, ang ating ano, naka-horizontal, okay? Sige, so i-drawing natin yung CB as the line which is along the horizontal axis. Kasi nakakalito eh. So, this is our B and this is our C. Tapos, meron tayong angle na 30 degrees mula rito. Ayan. Then, ito yung ating, uh, ano ba tawag rito? I don't know if uh, ano siguro? Um, rad. Okay. Ayan. Ito yung ating rad. Which is an arc of a circle. Ayan. Then, kung nakatapyo tayo, yung ating P is andito. Okay. So, this is our A. Siyempre, yung P natin, point na lang yan. Kapag nakatapyo tayo, hindi lang natin siya may kita as horizontal or vertical in the top view. Diba? So, hanapin natin ang maximum shear na kung saan mahahanap natin dito. Ayan, yung ating reaction sa C. Okay, so this is our BC or siguro ano na lang, shear V na lang. Okay, so number one, yung ating maximum shear is equivalent to by summation of forces vertical, automatic na ang ating maximum shear is equivalent to 40 kN. Ayan. Then And then, number two, find the maximum bending moment, kN meter at point C. So, dito medyo ano lang siya, tricky. Kung hindi masyado naitindihan ng estudyante ang difference between bending and twisting. So, if you say twisting, papaikutin niya yung ano eh, yung, uh, yung ating uh, structure or member. So, mata naman kapag bending, ibibend niya. Okay, so dito kasi, kapag nakatingin tayo rito, ayan, ito yung ating point of view, ang mangyayari kasi, ibibend nung ano, nung ating P, yung member na to. Okay? Pero, kapag nakatingin naman tayo rito, ayan, ang mangyayari, iikot, okay, ititwist niya, yung ating uh, rad ng pag -anito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung bending ang pinapahanap dito, dito tayo titingin. Ayan. Tapos, syempre, ang ating moment, okay? Ang ating moment kasi, ang concept niya, di ba, is equivalent to force multiplied by moment arm. So, dapat perpendicular yung ating moment arm sa ating force F. So, dito, ang force F natin is yung P. Tapos, okay, ang kailangan natin is Perpendicular distance, no? So, ito yun. Ayan. Ayan siya. Okay. So, perpendicular siya sa force T. And, titingin tayo rito, yung ating uh, point C and B is magkatapat lamang. So, dito yung magmumoment sa point na to. Okay. So, kailangan natin tong distance na to. So, let's say distance A. So, ang ating R is equivalent to 3.2 meters. So, kung ano to, arc of a circle, ibig sabihin, this is also equivalent to 
3.2 meters. Ayan. Then, kung ipapakita sa top view, ito yung ating letter A. Ayan. And this is our 3.2 meters. Ito naman yung ating 30 degrees. So, makukuha natin yung letter A by simple Pythagorean theorem. So, this is opposite. This is hypotenuse. So, sine. Okay. So, sine of 30 degrees is equivalent to A over 3.2. So, uh, A is equivalent to 3.2 sine of 30 degrees. And this is 1.6 meters. So, therefore, yung ating moment is equivalent to force F, which is equivalent to force P na 40 kN, then multiplied by moment R na A na 1.6. So, 64 kilonewton meter. Yan. So, kung ang ikot ng P natin sa, ano, sa C is, kung nakarap pa dito ba, okay, ang ikot niyan is pag ganito, which is counterclockwise, no? So, ibig sabihin, ang reaction natin sa moment sa C, okay, ayan, is clockwise. Ito yung ating moment at C. And so, sigur dito, ano, shear at C na lang din, na? Ayan. So, this is MC. Then, number 3, find the maximum twisting moment. Ayan. So, sabi ko kanina, ang ating twisting moment is magmumula dito sa view na to. Ayan. Nakaharap tayo dito. So, ang kailangan niyang distance ay ito. Ayan. Tawagin natin lang to as distance B. Ayan. Ito. Ito yung kailangan yung distance para magkaroon ng twisting moment sa B. Ay, sa C. Ay, iikot siya ng pag ganito. Ayan. Okay. Uh, medyo nakakato lang dito talaga, no? Siguro, ang gawin natin, ano? para mas na, mas madali ninyong maintindihan, gawa tayo siguro ng, ano, gawin siya 3D. Okay. So, gawin dito as x-axis. Ayan. Tapos, okay, pag ganito, no? Ayan, pag ganyan siya. So, this is our uh, z-axis na lang. Tapos, ito na lang yung ating y-axis. Ayan. So, yung ano, yung mc is umikot sa x, ha? Okay, ayan, umikot siya sa x. Burahin natin, ayan. So, yung ating mc is umikot sa x-axis. Yan yung ating MC. Yan. Samantalang naman, yung ating ano, uh, torque, okay, is umikot along z-axis. So, tawagin ito siya as TC. Yan. Para di kayo nalilito. Okay? So, TC is equivalent to, ganun din, force P. Ah, sorry. Mali yung ano natin, rotation, no? Kasi clockwise siya iikot dito eh. So, dapat counterclockwise tayo. Yan. So, TC is equivalent to force P then multiplied by distance B. Na kung saan makukuha natin, kung makukuha natin tong distance na to. Which is madali lang din, di ba? Sa betting distance C. May Pythagorean theorem na sa triangle na to, di ba? So, if this is hypotenuse, this is opposite. This is adjacent 30 degrees. So, pwede tayong mag-ano na, cosine. Or, since nakuha naman natin A, pwede rin tayong mag-Pythagorean theorem. So, C squared is equivalent to 3.2 squared then minus A squared, which is 1.6. Ayan. 3.2 squared minus 1.6 squared. So, 2.77 meters. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating B is equivalent to R na 3.2 then minus uh, C. So, 3.2 minus 2.77. So, this is 0.43 meters. Kaya yung ating TC is equivalent to 40 kN multiplied by 0.43 meters. Okay. 
Kaya 7.2 kN meter yung ating twisting moment at point C. Yeah. So, actually napakadali lang ng ano to eh. Itong problem na to. Pero yun nga, sabi ko sa inyo, medyo tricky lang siya pagdating sa bending moment and twisting moment. Actually, pina-exam ko to sa ano eh. Sa uh, Macboard. Okay, ng mga students ko. And isa sa mga magaling na student doon is nagkamali sa number 2 and number 3. So, siguro, uh, napagpalit niya yung bending and twisting or uh, medyo nalilito pa rin talaga siya sa concept ng bending and twisting. Okay, so yun nga, sabi ko sa inyo, um, itibihin nyo lamang yung concept ng bending and twisting, hindi kayo mahirapan sa ganitong type of problem. Okay, so again, this is our situation number 41 from C board exam. November 2021 for Structural Engineering and Construction. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.